and all other laws of Zimbabwe, that I will give my advice to the President of Zimbabwe freely and to the best of my judgment whenever I am required to do so for the good management of the public affairs of Zimbabwe, that I will not disclose directly or indirectly any secret that is entrusted to me in the course of my duties as Deputy Minister, and that in all respects I will perform the duties of my office faithfully and to the best of my ability. So, um, Chido Sanyatwe, the wife of former presidential guard commander Brigadier General Anisalem Sanyatwe retired, has pledged to maintain order in the country moments after taking oath of office as deputy minister of home affairs. Her husband, now an ambassador, commanded the soldiers who gunned down seven unarmed civilians in the streets of Harare following a disputed 2018 presidential election. Chido, the younger North legislator, was one of the three deputy ministers who were sworn into office days after President Emerson Mnangagwa announced his full cabinet. Oh, I'm expecting a lot. Um, I want to work very hard in the fight of corruption and to keep uh, law and order and security in the country. The other two include Polite Kambamura, who bounces back in the Minister of Mines and Mining Development, and Roy Bila, Deputy Minister for Industry and Commerce. Kambamura said the Minister will be focusing on intense exploration of minerals in government reserved areas. Mainly, we are going to focus on the ease of doing business at the Ministry, and also we are going to work on increasing mineral export receipts through local value addition and beneficiation in line with NDS1. We are also going to increase intensive exploration in government reserved areas so that when investors come, we negotiate for deals over the mineral resources of what we know. Thank you. Bila told journalists he will be looking to bring industry back to life. And what is expecting us to do to make sure that we do the right thing in terms of our economy. Major two issues are going to be done in terms of the informal sector. That is one sector that we want to make sure that we, we, we do the right thing so that everybody can contribute to the economy. The other issue that we are going to do as an industry is to make sure that we have other industries which are not functioning. Ensure for our economy to grow, we need industries to, to be there. 
So we are going to make sure that we resuscitate that and also make sure that the resuscitation of those industries will make, will make our children, our youth, to now get the jobs. I think those are the major issues, the major highlights that we are going to do together with my boss, who is the minister. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mnangagwa's cabinet appointments have raised a lot of dust as many analysts say they lack merit and have failed to inspire confidence both among business and the general public. Reporting for HSTV News, Kelly Mabairi, State House.